because we know who he is. And when we know who he is and we have that kind of relationship with, with Jesus, with God, we have that relationship, then we don't have to worry about nothing. We know where we're going. You know, that's the main thing, to know where you're going. Get saved. Get some, somewhere to believe in God. Trust him. And just know that it's a place that God got for you up in heaven. But we thank God again, and we thank him for each and everything that they're saying and that they're doing here at uh, St. Luke. St. Luke is, you know, we continue to send a blessing out to Bishop Hash, Ronald Hash, from down in North Carolina, Salisbury, North Carolina, and his first lady. Uh, we just send a uh, blessing out to them. Bishop off the West, we send a blessing out to them also. Uh, you know, we just pray that they'll have a great, a uh, blessed Easter. And um, we just thank God. We just thank God for this day. Uh, a lot of people lost their lives through the COVID, through different things. But we thank God for our life, that God's shown us another day. Uh, but to all our family members, all our people that we love dearly, uh, we just continue to send a blessing out to them. Uh, when, with Larry, Larry Gregg is at uh, Pine Lodge. Next time we send a blessing out to him and tell him Happy Easter. And we're going to try to get out there as soon as we can get out there to see him. Because he's always been a part of here and doing all kinds of things here in the church all the time. You know, when you, when you don't have the person, the people around, you miss them. Mm -hmm. Because they do so many other things. And so, never give up. Just keep on doing what they do. You know, just... Uh, it's a blessing. That we, that continue to pray for us and pray for our service this morning. Uh, but we just thank God for, like I said, Don Owen. We thank God for the kingdom and all the other people. Uh, just praying for us and Elder McCray, he do a lot of many, many things. And we thank Elder McCray for this, so many things that he do here. Uh, but we trust God and believe what God can do. That's the main thing we do here in the house of the Lord. Uh, you have no church home to go to. You have nowhere to go. Just come worship sometimes. Just stop by and just, you just peep your hand in, peep your, your body in, just give us away. Uh, just, you know, whatever you need to do, do. But just trust God and believe in what God can do. We just thank Him for this day. At this time, we're going to have a, a couple songs that we're going to sing. Uh, just trust in God and believe in Him. Uh, with our voices, with our handshake, with our hallelujah, we just continue to just trust God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. God is good. All the time. And he's worthy. You see, I have to sit close to him. Show your mouth. Sit close to him. Amen. 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 Amen.
breath to breathe this morning, uh, talk his word, to speak his word. Uh, this is just a time for me to do this morning. Thanking God for all he did through the whole week. I mean, we might have had a bad week, some bad days, but God brought us through this uh, to be in the house of the Lord one more time. I'm grateful. I'm thankful that I was able to be here in the house of the Lord. We could have been somewhere else. We could have been day and night here, but we just thank God for this day that he gave us. Grateful. Uh, it's important that we learn how to be grateful and, and receive God's blessings, but uh, it's work we got to put in it to do it. It's, it's uh, you know, not by arrogance, it's by worshiping Him, believing Him, but taking it by faith and believing and trusting God, trusting Him. Say, like, you know, I trust you with all my, with my heart and my soul. I trust you for all what you're doing because you're a good God and you continue, continue to bless me even when things go bad in my life. You still be a blessing to me. So we need to thank God for that today, not yesterday, today, for raising us up this morning to be able to speak or talk, to say a word for him. Say, I thank you, Lord. I give you the praises. I give you the honor. So, you know, we just we just love the Lord. And just loving the Lord is, is, is the best thing you could ever do in your whole life. Say, I love him more than anything. I love him. When I rise up, I love, love him when I lay down. So we just want to thank God for that this morning. Uh, we 
Hallelujah. Amen. Pray the Lord. Pray the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. Pray the Lord. Nisha. Amen. We got some flowers for you. Amen. <laughs> she must say what you talking about. We got some Easter flowers for you right here. Amen. Amen. You'll get them the next time you come, I guess. And we thank God this morning. Amen. Amen. And we're giving God the praise, the glory, the honor in Jesus' name. Thank God for the sweet, precious gift of the Holy Ghost. Down on the inside. Yes, yes. Amen. The Holy Ghost that abides uh, deep down on the inside. Amen. God is so good and he's so willing to be praised. I thank him today. Amen. I praise him for waking me up this morning Amen. and starting me out on a brand new day's journey. Yes. Uh, God is a wonder in my soul. And I can't thank him enough. Amen. I can't thank him enough. Amen. I can't thank him enough for what he has done for my life. Amen. And with my life. I want to give God the praise for everybody. <coughs> Anisha, Ebony, Trey, uh, Donya, Keelan, uh, Jaden, Jason, Jeanette, too, all of y'all. Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, everybody, amen. Robert McCray, Louise McCray, uh, my brother Louis McCray, praise the Lord up in heaven. Uh, his son, Louis McCray Jr. Amen. All of them, amen. Collider up in heaven, amen. Praise God. God is so good. <laughs> he has blessed us uh, in so many tremendous ways. Our pastor here today, I know he has a dynamic message that he can't wait to give to you all. On today, our Sunday school teacher was right on time. Amen. Teaching us the word of the Lord. Thank God for that. Amen. You are missing out uh, when you don't come to the house of God. Amen. Amen. We thank you for following us here on Facebook as well. Lord. And we believe in God to bless you like never, ever before. Before I know it was the blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. The of the Lamb that shed his blood on Calvary's cross just for me. I thank him today. And I give him the praise. I give him the glory. I give him the honor. Amen. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Uh, we, we, we want you to tune in uh, to the radio program which comes on at 7.30 a.m. in the morning as WWNR 62 NR AM FM 101.1 Beckley, West Virginia, where you will receive a word <coughs> from the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Tune in, and we'll be happy and glad that you did. Amen. So at this time, I'm going to present to you our senior pastor here at the St. Luke uh, Church of God Apostolic here in Beckley, West Virginia, and Bishop. Uh, Arthur West, we thank God for you sending that video to us. We enjoyed it uh, from your church. We enjoyed it. We enjoyed talking to you and fellowship with you one day. We can't, can't wait to get you here in Beckley, West Virginia. Amen, Pastor? Amen. That's what Pastor said. She said she can't wait, can't wait. to get you down here. You, Bishop Hash, uh, amen, praise God. Come on down. Amen. We're here waiting. Amen. Amen. Bishop Reed. Amen. The general bishop. Amen. We just thank God for the church of God apostolic. Amen. Praise God. We're a few in numbers here today, but we're still here. Giving God the praise to the glory and honor. At this time, we want to present to you our senior pastor here at the same church of God apostolic, Pastor Deborah McCray. We thank God for this for this day, and it's been a good day so far, and uh, we just continue to trust God and believe what God is doing. Uh, we, again, we thank you for the opportunity and to listen uh, to the Word of God. And, uh, we just know God is good. God is good all the time. Uh, we see our little baby, he just walk around now. He know all the places to go to in the church, and we thank God for him uh, just a year old, and he does so, so many things, and uh, 
we thank God for that gift that he has already received. And that's a blessing that, you know, they said bring a baby up to the church. And uh, that's where it all starts. But again, to everybody, we want to wish you a happy Easter and, and a happy blessed Easter. Just to be here this morning in the house of Lord. Just to be somewhere tuning in and listening. Uh, that is so important that, you know, we do this uh, because we know a lot of people need to hear the word of God. Uh, but we, we keep praying for them. Praying that one day we get to see our faces, that they come in the church and uh, just say, I'm going to come to church. Uh, you know, you need a ride, call us, and we'll find a way to get you here. Uh, don't never think you don't have no way to come. You know, a lot of times people say, we ain't got no way to get there. But we make a way to get you here if you need to get here. But again, we thank you for tuning in this morning. Uh, this morning's service, I'm just uh, thanking God again for giving us the word. You know, the word been in my soul all week. And, when Don did his uh, the Bible Sunday school, and I was thinking about that, and so many things went through my mind because God continue to be, uh, continue to bless us, and that's what He do. Uh, this morning, um, just want to pray. This dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for continue blessing me in my travel and my journey as I, I come get closer to you, that to know you. Uh, I said in praise you and worship you. Uh, you know, give you the hallelujah, the highest praise is hallelujah, the highest praise. But I thank you for this time. I thank you for just and they let me be able to stand to give a word of God to all our friends and family that's listening. And we know so many are and so many made donations. And we appreciate all what you're doing. We want to see your smiling faces here. But we thank you, Lord. Just take death out of me and give me your words to use this morning. Um, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, I'll be before you long. Um, just want to, we came by this morning just to say a few words about Jesus. Uh, that's the one that we talk about him. That's so important. Uh, we're going to go to uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 1 through 6. I know Don already got it because it was in his verses this morning in the, in the Bible, the Bible in the Sunday school. Uh, it's almost like Sunday school and Bible school uh, work together in the elder. It's mm -hmm. like Sunday school and, and Bible study because uh, we're doing both. And uh, that's a good thing, you know, we can say it both ways uh, because that's how God bless us to be able to have a uh, person like Donald to come up and do the script, do his teaching because uh, sometimes it gets be hard. And, uh, you know, hard questions that, you know, the audience may ask. But we thank God for that. Uh, we'll go to Luke chapter 24, verse number 1 through 6. Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain others with them. And they... And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulcher. And they entered in and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And it came to pass as they were much perplexed thereabout. Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid of and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye? The living among the dead. He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was in, yet in Galilee. Just talking about that this morning, the, the scripture number two is, and um, the verse is, and they found the stone, the, they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre. Uh, this morning, the sermon is going to be about. Roll away your stones. All right, all right, Pastor. Roll Pastor. away your stones. All right, all right. As we right. talked about Jesus, when it, all right. uh, the talk about him when he was in the tomb, when he was there, that he was there for, you know, three days and he rose. And if we talk about that and we're thinking, well, the angels roll away the stone. And, uh, you know, now you really remember now, if you think deep in your mind that, Man could not roll away that stone. Can you imagine how much the stone would have weighed? Uh, you know, no, I think sometimes we don't think about that. 
But when think about that song being rolled away, the song had to be really, really heavy. Man couldn't do it. It had to be angels that do it. Because when we think about that stone, and that's a, that was a big stone. It wasn't a little stone. And we think about it, it had to be rolled away. In order to roll away, they had to, God had to send his, his angels to be able to roll that stone away. As we think about that stone, we think about what, what Jesus had to go through before he, he got there. And there were so many things he went through. So, you know, the, the crucifixion of him and the beating and what they did to nail him to a cross and uh, just for our sins. He had to leave here for our sins. Mm -hmm. And we think how thankful we are because we wouldn't be here to talk about him today. But when we think about what all he's doing in our life, the changes that he's made in our life, and we worship him. We give him all the praise and we worship him because he, he is Jesus. He's our Lord Jesus that, that, that did all the things for our life to change our life to make us different people in our life. As we look at the, we're saying roll, roll away the stone, as we look at that saying when we roll away the stone, what do we need to do? A lot of times we need to change our life around. Uh, you know, when the stone is rolled away and that's like throwing stains in, in the sea of forgiveness. It's gone away. It's not no longer there. So if we roll away that stone that we're changing our life to where we need to be with Christ Jesus. We need to change our life around to say I know my stone was removed because Jesus removed my stone. All right, so he removed our stone. Yeah. He changed our life around. Let me go get that so he didn't, he didn't say, I won't change you, but go I'll be a different your... person. So if our life was changed, it was changed for the good. So if you look at the situation that we go through and we, we continue to hold on to that things that, that hidden, we hold on to the past, we hold on to things that have happened to us in our lifetime, and we don't want to leave it there. As Jesus, he was gone from out of the tomb. When they rolled it back, he was no longer there in that tomb. Right, right, right. So if he wasn't there in that tomb, why should we continue to be in that same situation, in that stump, in a, in a way that our, our sins and stuff is not rolled away? We have to believe in God and trust God that we know that he can do anything but fail us. We can fail him, but he will not fail us ever. We'd be the one that... The, the, purpose of all the things that happen because it's a choice that we make in our life. All it's right. a choice that we want to be saved or not. It's a choice that when we want to come to church, we come or not. It's a choice that we make. And so when we change our life around, when we change it to the, to the part that we know that, that we're going to be blessed, we think about Jesus when he was in that tomb and he was only there for a little while. He said, they said he's not there no longer. He's gone. He had risen. So when we think that he was gone, he had risen. And we think about like when our stone is rolled roll back, roll away, that we have risen into another direction of our life. Our life has to change. Right. When our life changes, things happen different in our life. We learn to, to be grateful. We learn to be, we sacrifice. Life continues to be a sacrifice in our life as we make it. So if we, if we know something we have to sacrifice, we want to sacrifice to be to worship God because he is so good and he's so merciful in our life and we will not be here if it was not for that. To love him more than we love ourselves. To love our kids. To love the people around us. Continue to love the people around us. People will go through, through different situations. We can't save the world but we can save our own souls and when we save our own soul we give our soul to the Lord. We turn it over to him. We can preach about it. We can teach about it but we got to be about God's words. We cannot be about our words. We be about God's words. Be about this Bible that, that we have got that was written for our occasion, so we know who God is. So as we roll roll away our stones, we realize the changes that we made in our life. That we know that God can change the thing. Uh, the God can change a drunk. He can change the alcohol. He can change a drug addict. He can change anybody who chooses to. It's not an easy process to do. It's not an easy process. But when you trust God and you believe in what he can do, he will change that around. He'll change your life. It's just like turning around. When you turn around, things are not the same way when you turn around. Turn it around. Turn it around, preacher. So when you turn your life around, you turn your life around for the better, but not the worse. So when you turn and you believe in it, say, I'm taking God in faith. I'm standing on the word of God. I believe in what God's going to do on the inside of me to change my heart around. So if he's going to change your heart around, he's changing you as that person. As he 
change your, you as a person. My heart is changed. My heart bleeds for you because I love you more than anything. So we love you more than anything. We're giving our soul, we're giving our life to you. We, we, we turn it around because we said we can turn things around in the life and make it different. So we can make a different, make it a different in the world, our world, the world we live in. We have to trust him and believe and take him by faith. Take him by faith. So we take him by faith. We take all the things that, that we thought was bad and turn them into good. That's how we trust God who believes in We say, roll, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone. Yeah, it's going to be heavy. Yes. Jesus had the angels to roll away his stone. That's right, that's right. We don't have the angels to roll away that stone, but we have ourselves. And believe that God can roll the stones away also. If he can roll the stones away in our life, he's saying, I'll change you. Preaching. I'll make you a different. I love you. I love so you. So that's the thing, you know, we, we don't love ourselves enough. Sometimes we don't love. Like we should love ourselves. So, you know, we feel down on ourselves. We feel yes, like we yes, can't yes, get yes, up. Yes. But God loves us more than anything, anybody. So when we, he loves us, then we have to pick ourselves up. Uh, if the word say rise up, Jesus rose up. We also can rise up and do things in, in, that we need to do in our life. It's not hard to do. It's, it's being committed. It's having yourself been sacrificed. It's, it's having yourself to believe by faith. And go forward and not go backwards. But it's believing what God can do, the change He can do. So if you think in your mind and say, well, if, if my stone would roll back, then I could be a changed person. Change person. So if we could be a changed person, God's gonna He gonna remove that. He's gonna remove the stone that, that's stopping you from doing anything, stopping you from the love of God. Yeah. So when you stop from the love of God, you have stopped Him. So he can't move, move no further. He said, I'll move it a little bit. But you have to you got to keep on pushing keep on. So, so we can move, move it all the way out. So when that storm is moved, so that's gone. It's gone away. It's not, you're not going in there anymore. You're not going in your background anymore. You're not going what you used to do right. anymore. Right. You're going on to a new right. direction. Right. If the Lord takes you a new direction, you realize how much I love him, how right. much I give yes. him, how much I'm going to change I'm this sure. world. So when we're saying this, we're saying, Lord, if you can take this stone, take it, take it away, Lord, just take it away. If you can take this stone away in my life, I will do, I will serve you the rest of my life. So you have to be ready. You have to be committed. You have to be have that faith yes, to know yes, that yes, I can yes, change. Yes, so yes. when we change, so don't say, Lord, just take the stone a little bit away. Oh, no, no, no. Not a little bit. I want it all the way. Oh, so when we go all the way, we say, okay, I ain't going to drink no more. you back and you're not ready for the word of God. You're not ready to receive him. So if you're ready, you have to be ready all the way. You can't step in the water and think it's going to be uh, warm all the time. So when you cut your bath water on your bath water, you want it warm and kind of good out of You don't want it cold. But as you stay in that, you stay in that water, it's going to turn cold. So you want to keep it warm, but you want to trust God. So when you trust in God, that's going to be all well and said and done. Because you're trusting him, said I, I can trust you, Lord. So we can't be cold about this situation. We've got to be warm all the time. In our hearts, we, when we receive the glory of God, we have to be it have to be from the inside out. It's not from the outside in, it's from the inside out. So if we, we believe in God, we trust in him. We said we know we believe you, Lord. So when your stone is rolled rolled back, you have no reason to go not go forward with your life. So what you, I used to do, I don't do no more. What I used to say, I don't say no more. No, no, no. So if we say it in our, in our heart, in our life, it's going to change. But you have to be ready for this. You have to be that soldier. I'm a, a soldier for the Lord. You have to be ready for that. And so if you're going to be a soldier, you've got to be a good soldier. You can't be a soldier slack back and don't know what you're supposed to do. you got to be ready for the battle. So the battle is going to come. The battle of the way because your flesh is not saved. Your flesh is not saved, so your flesh may tell you something else because you're not all the way down here. So when you're all the way down, your flesh still going to talk and it'll come up and rise up in you. But the, but the Christ that lay inside your heart will overrise that when you believe in what, what he's doing in your life. When you see things change, you look at the mirror and you say, I think I see a light in my face. I think I see a different in my life. So when you see that, like, Wow, where I've been all this time to not receive the glory of 
glory God. So it's, it's a blessing. It's truly a blessing. God is so good and so merciful all, all, all the time. Never, he never, you can't never say God did something to you, but he made me to know he did not. You chose that life. You chose what you did. That's over, done with. Now move on. Take that stone and roll it back. Roll it all the way back. Don't give up. Don't give me. Roll it back. Just, just roll it back all the way. Don't go peeking and say I can peek through that and I see what I used to do. Say I, I'm going forward because I'm gonna rise up from that. And and don't don't look back. Don't keep looking back and dwelling on your past. That's gone in the sea of forgiveness. God forgive you for that. Forgive yourself. That's the whole, you are the you are your own critic. You are the hardest person to forgive yourself. Forgive yourself first. Forgive yourself first. God is going to forgive you too. But you have to make that move to say, I choose you, Lord. I choose you, God, this day. I choose you to take over my life, to make me change, make me a different person, make me to love everybody, make me realize I can't change the people, but I can change my own soul. I can change the choices that I make in my life. If you don't change the choices that you make in life, you're going to hell. I'll tell you this morning, you're going to hell. It's, I'm telling you, when people don't, we kind of shy around that. As we say a little bit, we're going to say it all. But where shall we go if we don't have Jesus in our life? Where shall we go? Amen. We have nowhere else to go. Where do you choose? You choose a better life. Yes, drug addiction is hard. Yes, drinking is hard. Yes, living is hard. Food is hard. And like, yes, it is. But we have to keep on fighting and fight a good fight. A fight a good fight as we continue on our journey. It's a journey that we're going through. And we'll make it if we choose God first. We'll make that journey if we choose him. If we don't choose him, where do you think we'll be? We have to choose him this day. Not yesterday. This day right here. All this takes is open to say, I want to be saved. I want to be set free from anything. I want to be set free from my life that I used to do. I want to change our life around. I was willing to roll that stone away today and leave it there. When we roll it away, we will push it back no more. So all our mind is staying on Jesus. Say, so I'll change you around. I'll make you a different. I'll make a different in your life. If you believe me, if you trust me, you got to trust him with all your heart, all your might. You, we're going we're gonna to fall a, a couple times, but we're going to get up. We're going to rise up. We're going to keep rising up in the right direction. We can go the wrong direction because this is what we choose. We, we don't choose him today. We won't know him. We won't have that personal relationship if we don't know him. You've got to know him and have that personal relationship somewhere around the world. Amen. We just continue to pray for them, pray for their families. God is too good. So if you roll away your stone, roll back your stone today, you say, I trust you, Lord. I believe in you, Lord. I don't know, no longer want to be behind a closed wall that I can't connect with you. Amen. So if we put a block up here, then we're closing off the goodness of God. If we take the, this fan and we have this block right here, then we can't reach him because that's a burrow. All right. Ready, 
Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Take some nice uh, Easter sun, Easter pictures out there. Amen. Go to your favorite place uh, to eat and have a great, great day. Amen. Praise God. We want to thank God for you out there on today in the name of Jesus. I was talking with my sister. The Lord and as your personal new Savior. Open up your mouth today and say, Lord, I'm asking you to come in to my heart. Save me from the sins uh, of the world. Save me from my sins and allow me to be a child of God. That's it, my friends. Amen. Believe him and take him at his word on us from your service, but not from your presence. Yeah. Bless all those that are around the world here today. And we thank you, God, that you will allow the people of God to have a beautiful day. Amen. And enjoy the sunshine and enjoy uh, the weather today. Amen. Praise God. God, we give you glory. Yeah. We give you honor. We give you praise. Amen. In Jesus' name. Repeat after me. Would I say the one?